For several years now, the Madi and the Acholi communities have been employed in a rango over land in Apa, with each community claiming ancestral ownership. The conflict has resulted in bloody clashes, leading to hundreds of people being displaced. Government intervened and appointed a team headed by the Prime Minister Dr. Ruaka Rugunda to find a lasting solution to the Apalan dispute. On Friday, Dr. Ruaka Rugunda met the Achori and the Madi leaders at the 4th Division Presidential Conference Hall in Igulu. He assured the two conflicting parties that a solution will soon be found once the president decides on the recommendation of the government team that was tasked to investigate the matter. Understanding that security of the Wanaichi in Napa is paramount. Common understanding that the rights of the people in Napa must be at the center stage and common understanding that we are looking for an amicable just solution that will be sustainable and that will ensure that the people uh, who are in APA will at the end of this whole exercise know that the solution that is coming will guarantee, will assure them a place of their own Dan Fred Kidega, the former Speaker of the East African Legislative Assembly, who was representing the Acholi community, says the resumption of dialogue was founded on premise that government has halted violence in APA, provided security and stopped evictions. The meeting resolved that there must not be further eviction of the people from APA and all forms of violence must be stopped both from the, the clashes of communities or the criminal gangs or the Uganda Wildlife Authority were lawfully enforcing eviction. So all this has been stopped. Kirega urged the government to expedite the compensation of those who were injured, lost their lives and property during the eviction by the Uganda Wildlife Authority and the Uganda People's Defense Forces in APA. That the government has shown high level of commitment for compensation of people who have lost lives, to compensation to their relatives, compensation of property that has been lost or damaged, and injuries, or all kind of atrocities that have been inflicted unto the people. So that alone, the fact that government has committed is in its own way uh, a way of success to our people. Meanwhile, the chairman of the Madi team, Lawrence Akuti, is optimistic that the dialogue has restored the confidence among his people. I feel we are nearing the end of this problem. Hopefully, early next year, because Christmas might interfere things here and there, but early next year, we should be able to get some reasonable report uh, uh, from the government that this is the standpoint of the government to conclude this thing. The Prime Minister denied accusations from the Acholi team that the government is partisan towards the Madi side and is mounting pressure on Acholi to bow to their demands. The government was accused, I should be saying nice things to the press, but let me tell you that the government was accused by either side of favoring the other. You get my point? And Fortunately, our government had uh, quite a good representation, so government was able to explain that actually government is not favoring or pressurizing any side, but that we are impartial. President Yori Museveni in August made proposals that will end the land conflict in APA. He then tasked the Prime Minister to work with both the Achori and the Madi team to find a common ground. On Friday, the Acholi team completed submitting its proposals to end the land conflict in APA. The Madi team will file their own position next Friday.